Hello everyone, I'm Mike Davis, the women's basketball coach here at Central Methodist University in Fayette, Missouri. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Lady Eagle Preview. Hey, lots of excitement here this year. Actually, our season kicks off November 3rd uh, here in Puckett Fieldhouse in Fayette, Missouri, so it's right around the corner for us. Before we go ahead with the upcoming season, let's take a quick look back at last season. Hey, another banner year for our Lady Eagles, 24-10, and 10, Sweet 16 finish at the National Tournament, had a great win the first round over a very, very good Biola team. Lost to an extremely talented team in the second round, uh, Lindsey Wilson. But great finish for us. Lots of returners from that team, so a lot of excitement as we look forward. Before we do that, though, 2017-2018 is a special time for our program. It marks the 20-year anniversary of our 1997-1998 Elite Eight team. What a magical team that was. Great run through the national tournament. Uh, finished in the Elite Eight. Had a fantastic win over uh, number two Southern Oregon in the Sweet 16 round. And uh, really just a great way for our program to get going. Lots of fun for our fans. Hey, before we go on to this year, I want to recognize all the members of that team. Hope I don't forget anyone. Miranda Daniels, April Smith, Candy Snee, Brandy Thomas, Carrie Pollock, Jill Fuca, Autumn Feeker, Mary Kate Hinky, Joan Pauley, Sherry Butts, Liz Weltman, Angel Hunsacker, Lee Yarick, Jen Pomizel, Melissa Krogh, and of course Coach Doug Fessler. Thank all of you guys for some great memories. We really look forward to seeing each and every one of you at our 20 year reunion later in the year. So now, let's take a look ahead at our group of seniors. First up with our seniors, Dejanae Hale, Nene as we call her. Finally to her senior year, I know some of the conference coaches thought she was never going to graduate, but guess what she is. Uh, Nene is a two-time All-American, averaged a little over 19 points a ball game last year. Truly one of the elite players in the NAIA, a young lady who can score at all levels. Uh, one of the really great one-on-one -on -one offensive type players. What I'm excited about this year, I think there's a great hunger from Nene. I think she wants to be even better than before. So look forward to some special things from her. The next two seniors I'd like to talk about. Emily Richardson, Allison Hines, two of our four-year kids, young ladies who have come in here and done a fantastic job. Emily was a young lady who was a part-time starter for us last year. She's had a great fall. We really expect her to fill a different role. Allison Hines, hey, if you can keep a butter knife and an avocado out of her hand, she's really good. She's had a great fall as well, done a really good job for us. Both of those young ladies, they're going to serve as captains for us. They're going to be outstanding in a lot of different ways. Next two young ladies are seniors as well, but they were transfers last year. Anna Borges, young lady from Brazil, and Tashanya Edwards, a young lady from Oklahoma who transferred in here from Loyola University. Anna was an all-conference player for us last year. Very, very good, a highlight reel as far as athletically. Someone who can really take over a ball game on both ends of the court. Became an outstanding on-ball defender for us, so we really look forward to some good things from her. T, or as we call Tashanya, She's a young lady who was really starting to develop for us at the end of last year, becoming a, an integral part of our offense and defense when she suffered an injury to her hand, had to have surgery. We lost her at the national tournament. It was a big loss to us. She's someone, though, again, an elite athlete, someone that's an unbelievable box jumper. You'll see her when she plays, great athleticism, but she's really playing a lot more at the one for us this year. She's going to fill an altogether different role. She's been a very good leader for us. An extremely intelligent young lady, and you put that together with her athleticism, she's going to be good. The next two seniors we want to talk about are both newcomers, one-year players for us, Brandy Hidden and Lara, or Zara Laster. Brandy comes in here as a senior, started her career at Long Beach State, was a freshman of the year in the conference there as a freshman, went to Boise State, was newcomer of the year there in the Mountain West, so a young lady with a lot of experience and a lot of ability. Um, I think when you look at her, you're going to see someone that can score again at all levels, an elite athlete. She's someone that our fans are going to really love watching. Zara Laster. Hey, Z, we're not going to have until second semester, but our, our fans are going to enjoy her. Extreme length, not real big, 5'9 or so, but again, can really go to the boards, can change the game on the defensive end of the court. Not a lot of people can do that, and I think that's something we've missed the last couple of years. She's going to really be a bonus for us when she gets in here. Our last two seniors, Eloise Snedden and Amanda Hutchins. L played with our reserve team last year, has moved up to our varsity team, doing a great job on the wings, shooting the basketball. Someone who's really a great teammate, fills a great role. Our girls love her, and she's improving every single day. Amanda, 
She came in here with some ankle problems last year. They've really flared up this year. She's actually going to redshirt and miss the entire season, but she's with us as well. A huge part of our team. Nine seniors who fill up our roster. I don't know that I've ever had a team with this many seniors. You know, the only bad thing about it, they've heard all of Coach Ray and I's stories. There's nothing new to tell them. But we're excited to have them, and I think they're going to play a huge role in our success. Now, let's talk about our six remaining players. A mixture of years right here. Let's start off with Jasmine Shields. Jazz is a returning point guard for us out of Wiley, Texas. A young lady that really developed over the course of last year and actually even developed a lot this summer. I think she really learned to appreciate the point guard spot much more all the little things that go into helping a team win. She's really been a different player for us. Battled a little bit of injuries, but she's back on the court right now. She's someone that we look to uh, really get a lot more minutes out of and do a good job at that point guard spot. Next up, a newcomer, Maria Marquez, a young lady out of Arizona Western. She's someone our fans are going to enjoy. About 5'10", really long, but she can really shoot the basketball. If you want to see someone that can shoot it from the three line, I think she's going to do a great job. Her length helps her on the defensive end. It also helps her get that shot off. I think she's someone that can step right in and provide offense for us, and she's really done a great job of just fitting into our entire system. Hey, next up, Louis Speranza, a returning young lady. She's a sophomore this year. Came up the semester last year in a really tough spot. Right now, she's been here a little while, and I think our fans are going to see her step up and play at a different level. Really a physical uh, young lady, great body, but also has a great skill set. You put that together, and we're looking for some good things out of Lua on the inside. Being six foot, we don't have a lot of size. I think she's going to really help us in there. Another newcomer, Hunter Lifty, out of Minot State but actually from Hawaii. All our young ladies want to go home with her over the summer. Actually, I think for the holidays they want to go home with her. Great spot to be from. Hunter's come in here about 5'10", led her high school team to a state championship back in Hawaii. It's easy to see why. Very comfortable in the post. Really a nice finisher in there. Someone that I think as she becomes more adjusted to how we do things, by second semester especially, is going to play a lot bigger role for us. Another newcomer. Six foot two, Brianna White, our tallest girl on our varsity this year. Uh, Brianna comes in here again from Arizona Western. She's battled a lot of injuries this fall. We really haven't had her on the court as much as we wanted to. If she can get healthy, she can change some games for us. We just need her to get on the court. Our last player that's in here, our only freshman, Hannah Stevens. Nearby Hallsville, Missouri, Hannah's done an outstanding job. Brings a lot of skill to the game for her size and also someone who I think has been deceptive with her ability to get away from people. Our, uh, our people on our team have really enjoyed watching her play. I think she's surprised them. I wish we could say, hey, we'll wait for a couple of years for her to play, but trust me, Hannah's going to find a lot of minutes on the court right now, and she's going to contribute right away. That's our team. Lots of stuff going on. I want you to know we're excited about this team. We are anxious to get on the floor. And if you've taken a look at our poster, we have people from all over the country, all over the world on this team. But what, when we get on the floor, we're not just from all those places. We're from Central Methodist. We are one. See you at Puckett Fieldhouse.